shirt alert. And check out my earrings. Yeah. On today's episode of Boomies with CK, I want to do a review of Fantastic Fungi on Netflix. Basically, I saw something on Instagram. It was really a mushroom music video. I don't know how many people know this, but there is a device. I think it's called like a sound wave or something. You can plug it in and clip it onto different plants and it will play the music that that plant or organism creates. It's really weird, but there's a whole page for it on TikTok. From that, I clicked on the comments and a lot of people in the comments was talking about different things that were related to mushrooms. Somebody in the comments has said something about watching this film on Netflix called Fantastic Fungi and so I decided to check it out. Initially, I just thought that it was going to be some type of documentary about a person's journey with mushrooms and things of that nature and although it was that to a degree, they talked about mushrooms on a very large scope. I think that's a great way to start off with mushrooms. One thing that I do want to touch on that I think a lot of people are not really aware of is the benefits of psychedelic mushrooms and then the benefits that mushrooms carry in general. One of those benefits is that under the supervision of clinical therapists and psychiatrists and psychologists and things of that nature, a lot of people are using psychedelic mushrooms in microdosing amounts during therapy sessions to kind of like address their traumas and talk about things, face their anxiety and things of that nature and it's turning out that people are seeing a lot of progress from it. Another thing that many people don't really know about shrooms is that there is a reparative nature in your brain's pathways to reconstruct itself in a healthy way. So I'm not going to go off on a tangent on that. I will make another video about that and the research that I did to just kind of gather some of that information. But Fantastic Fungi does touch on that. They have people in this movie and they talk about their experience through shrooms and with their therapists and how it made them feel you know the progress that they were able to make and so I did like that I also like that they talked a lot about the process of how mushrooms work and the intelligence behind how mushrooms grow how they decompose things how they like regenerate themselves and it was a lot like it was not an information overload because it really was good to watch but I really just felt like I was in sponge mode. The one thing that I really did like about the movie is that the primary mycologist, he had his experience with psychedelic shrooms. He talked about that, combed it through, and the visuals, I ain't gonna hold you. I kind of want to re-watch it on shrooms just to see if the visuals from that movie are gonna hit differently because it was very much so stimulating sober, and I'm like, damn. What if I watch this while I was high? He not only talked about his journey going on different mushroom hunts, they talked about the whole process of how like tree cutters, their purpose and things of that nature. I never even knew that tree cutting was a thing or that it was tied to mushrooms in general. But again, that was another takeaway for me that I enjoy like them. This kind of make me want to go on a mushroom hunt. So I'm definitely putting that on the list of things that I want to do that pertains to mushrooms because I feel like there's a lot to explore. So I'm just going to make a list. And that definitely, definitely, definitely going on there. I think what I most enjoyed about the film was how they unpack different strains of mushrooms and their health benefits outside of mental health. I mean, literal physical health. The same way that apple cider vinegar is a natural remedy to lower blood pressure, they talked about how strands of mushrooms help health problems, right? There is one strand that kind of stuck out to me. They was talking about a strand called lion's mane. I ended up Googling it. This is what it looks like. I read that it has a texture of like lobster and that it's very lightweight and the health benefits of it are just... Ugh, I love it. I know that some stores sell lion's mane in like a powder. You could get it, it kind of looks like a whey protein powder, but you can get it like that 
I personally would like to find some raw lion's mane and sauce that shit up in my kitchen with some butter and some parsley and see what happens because I just think that would be so lit. Like, ugh. Like, if I didn't have an appreciation for mushrooms before, and primarily psychedelic mushrooms, but mushrooms in general, I do love them on my food, but I just never thought that far into it. Like, oh yeah, let me get spinach and mushroom on my pizza. Like, throw some mushrooms in my salad. I like mushrooms in my nachos. To know that there are just so many healing properties of different strands of mushrooms, that just took it to another level for me and I love that. But the mycologist who is the focus of the film, he pretty much told his story through a means of a personal journey, through the means of a professional journey. And then it even got more personal once he started talking about things that motivated him into more research and deeper digging as it pertains to mushrooms. He did share in the movie that his mom was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. He did did a lot of research and a lot of trial and error, but I think the winning part for the film for me was how he ended up curing his mom of stage four breast cancer with turkey tail mushrooms. And to be honest with you, I just love when people's stories and their passions become personal and that passion takes a different form like who knew that you loving mushrooms and you being a mycologist would turn into you saving your mom's life they told her that she didn't have that much longer to live you know how that story goes doctors tell you one thing and you turn around and make one decision that changed your life and here you are way beyond the years that these doctors told you you would ever have i personally love that that was just that was it for me so when people are getting into mushrooms or people are curious about mushrooms, I definitely recommend this film. I would give it a 10 out of 10. It is resourceful. It definitely teaches you things. It opens your mind. It includes the perspective of a multitude of people from a multitude of age ranges with experience and backgrounds and things of that nature. And I just feel like it is a great piece to have as a reference tool in your mind as it pertains to mushrooms, both psychedelic and natural growing mushrooms as it contributes in a positive way to health benefits. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all huh, huh, on the flip side. Peace out.